Hi, I'm Jess Chen, class of 2012, and I'm here with William Kumkwamba, class of 2014, majoring in environmental studies, modified with engineering, and author of the book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Could you tell me a little bit about your first book and what inspired you to write it? Um, so my first book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, um, I was inspired to write that book because I feel that there are so many people in my area or in the world who have like great ideas, but because of the circumstances that they are in, they are not able to, uh, to continue with their ideas. So I wanted to share my story with them so that they maybe they might be able to inspire them uh, to achieve their dreams. That's why it inspired me to write my first book. So what is the book about? Uh, the book is more about me, like growing up in Malawi and how I was able to uh, build the windmill when I was still young and he, I had like some challenges the time I was growing up, but regardless all, of all the challenges that I was facing, I didn't stop from doing what I wanted to do uh, with my life. So that's what uh, the book is all about. That's amazing. What kind of challenges were you facing? Um, there are like one of the challenges that I dropped out of school um, in my first year of high school because my parents couldn't have money uh, to pay for my school fees. And that time there was also like famine going on in the country. So some of the challenges were those. So um, for me, I wanted to continue with my studies. So seeing that I had to drop out, it was a little uh, hard for me. And now you're here at Dartmouth, mainly because of engineering, is that correct? Um, I'm here like mainly because of like in engineering uh, classes and also like the school itself. It's really like um, a wonderful school. The sport, they focus more on um, undergraduate student comparing to some other, other schools. So I feel that coming here, I'll be feel more like home uh, comparing to other uh, schools. You know. Do you have any other projects in mind besides windmills? Yeah, I have like a project in mind. One of the projects that I'm trying to uh, implement is a biogas project, which I tried out when, when I was still in Malawi, but I failed. So I'm trying to redo it. So that's one thing. And the other thing is that um, I'm trying to find the ways how I can be able to install solar panels in, in some of the schools, like a primary school that I'm, like, we are building so that kids can be able to read at night and also be able to use computers if we'll be able to get them. Yeah. You also have another book coming out on January 19th, a children's book, I believe. Um, could you tell me a little bit about that? So yeah, that, that book was um, inspired by my first book to write um, a children version of my book so that the kids can also have a chance to, um, uh, to learn about my story through a um, through picture book. And I'm really excited that many young, young kids will be able to, uh, to read it and then uh, they might be able to, to be inspired by what I did and then um, if they were doubt about something that they want to uh, to become in their life, then they will they will be encouraged to to do uh, whatever they need to do in order to achieve their dreams. So, do you have any goals or any idea what you would like to do after Dartmouth? So um, after Dartmouth, I'm planning like to go back to Malawi and start using the knowledge that I'm learning right now. If they are applicable to solve some of the challenges that people are facing in my community or in my country in general. So that's what I'm, I'm planning to do. Yeah. Thank you so much, William, for sitting down and talking to us. Look out for William's children's book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, coming out on January 19th.